You've all probably heard this before. Don't sit inside your EV while it's charging. There's radiation. So whether it's an online forum, comment section, or you know some random forwarded message on WhatsApp, or even that overly cautious uh, coffee shop uncle, there's still this lingering concern that the EVs might give off harmful radiation while charging. So today, we're going to dive into that. Is there any actual risk? Or is this just one of those myths that's kind of stuck around from the early EV days? I've actually gotten myself a radiation measurement meter, and I'm actually going to put this to the test. So let's break it down and see where this myth actually came to be. So what people are really talking about when they say radiation is really what's known as EMF or electromagnetic fields. These are the invisible fields produced whenever electric uh, electricity flows. And yes, um, of course, EVs use a lot of electricity, especially when charging. But here's the thing, EMFs are everywhere. Your phone, your microwave, and even the power lines near your house, if you still have power lines. Um, not all EMFs are the same though. They are the ionizing and the non-ionizing EMF. The ones from the EVs are classified as non-ionizing radiation, which means they don't actually have enough energy to damage DNA or cells, unlike what we see in X-rays or UV rays. Many EV manufacturers have actually also come out to testify that there isn't much to fear with EV batteries charging. So much so that, you know, the largest battery manufacturer, uh, or one of the largest, Cattle, one of, I mean, they actually put out a video on YouTube just to clarify that EV charging has no risk whatsoever. But let's not just take the expert's word for it. Hence, I got a meter right here that measures EMF levels. And I'm going to test it by sitting in the car while it's actually charging to see what's really going on. Of course, it's not like, you know, um, industry-grade type EMF measurement, but it should actually give us an idea if, she, if there's anything to be concerned about. So, if you're ever worried about charging your EV and just sitting inside and enjoying the air conditioning or your playlist, this video is for you. So before we go start the test, I want to do a bit of a baseline. So one of those appliances in the house that we all know has a lot of EMF or radiation, or at least people tell us, is actually our trusty microwave. So here's our tester. Not too sure you can see it, right? Our tester, and then I'll put a glass of water in the microwave and let's see what happens. Okay, so here is that tester again. As you can see, it's full bar, even if it's this close to the camera, quite far away from the microwave. Let's put it nearer. Not too sure you guys can see it. Yep, it's full bar as it is. So at least I know this thing is actually working. So now, let's stop the microwave and go to the car. I was initially only thinking of doing an AC charge test, which is at home. But then the thought just came that, hey, you know what, AC being 10 kilowatt or 11 kilowatt hours and a DC charger being anything above 50 to 100 kilowatt might have actually a different reading. So I'm going to do a test at home with my 10 or 11 kilowatt charger and see what the reading is. And then I'll probably drive out and use one of those uh, DC chargers and see what the reading is then. Having said that, uh, as always, a quick baseline, as you can see, it's... It's funny, um, I'm not too sure why it's flickering. Maybe it's just because of um, the uh, my, I mean the microphone. But yeah, I think it's largely just green if you can see it. Um, so yeah, seems everything seems normal. The only exception is if I have this very close to the charger pad or the RFID pad, it actually goes uh, crazy, flickering red. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty, pretty normal, okay? So now I'm just gonna head out and plug in the charger and see what happens. So I just plug in my charger and I also have this GoPro here. I'll show you the screen that is actually charging. There it is, uh, about 57% um, charging at 9.4 kilowatt hour. So what's the reading? Now that I'm actually sitting in the car with about 10 kilowatts going through um, you know, the, the charger. Well, from the looks of it, looks pretty safe. Um, yeah, pretty well insulated in most cases. Uh, I do actually have my phone on me, I just realized. So it, that little flickering could be, you know, from my phone. But nonetheless, yeah, I think there's nothing really to worry about. Uh, either the, the battery management system is doing its job or, you know, the, there's good shielding uh, underneath the car. But nonetheless, I would say we are pretty safe. So let's head on to a DC charger and see what happens. So it's a bit dark uh, and I just arrived at the DC charger. Um, just looking at 
this. It's somewhat blinking, um, but it kind of comes and goes. I'm not too sure if it's because of the proximity to the charger. Um, so yeah, just a bit of a baseline. Uh, it kind of blinks occasionally. Oh, you see, it, it's kind of stopped now when, I, when I'm here. I'm not too sure if it's because I'm near the charging pad and my phone is actually charging. Um, let me just connect this. It, it's solid. Um, so... Yeah, just kind of bear in mind, it's kind of flickering one from the green, um, but nothing really, really out of the ordinary. So now I'm just going to go out and charge and I'll come back in a second. So we just started charging and um, let me just show you on my GoPro uh, what rates are we charging at. We are looking at about 87 kilowatt hour, uh, pretty decent uh, DC charge. And now let's check out the reading on the meter. Let's see the handy meter. It's definitely flickering. Um, it's not full bar red, but yeah, it's flickering. Let me see if it changes when I move it around the car. Mm, doesn't seem to change. Um, it's like if I'm closer to the door, it just stays solid green. Uh, but it, when I'm somewhere in the middle of the car, see how it kind of flickers uh, yellow, yellowish, uh, maybe towards red occasionally. Definitely, there is a difference between AC and DC charging. This is actually a pretty interesting observation. I didn't expect it to have, you know, any fluctuation given how the AC went, but I thought it was just safe measure to try DC as well. So, I'm not a scientist, I am not a medical expert, just an EV owner who's curious like many of you. And while the numbers we saw today weren't alarming based on the published safety guidelines, I think it's still fair to say that the topic still raises a few questions. So if you're asking, is it dangerous to sit in an EV while it's charging? The science says it's probably fine. But if you're the cautious type, stepping out or having a coffee nearby for about 30 to 40 minutes might not be the worst idea either. Overblown concern or something we should take more seriously? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this useful, as always, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.